Now I'm Bill Witter. We're going to begin with that driver from New Jersey who plowed into pedestrians in Manhattan tonight. She's under arrest. Cops say she told them she closed her eyes and her words prayed to God before using her car to run over innocent people. Now that horrifying scene unfolded last night on West 36th Street. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett live this evening in Midtown. NJ. Sandra, horrifying and puzzling. The crash happened here on 6th Avenue, where 6th Avenue crosses 36th Street. The driver was headed east when she ran a headlight, a red light, and then veered headlong into a crowd of people on the sidewalk. Seven people were injured, Sandra. One woman was nearly killed. The people on the street could not have imagined what was about to happen. Traffic was moving normally on West 36th Street when suddenly a car barrels through a red light and then plows headlong into a crowd of people on the sidewalk. Some will be knocked to the ground, others tossed into the air. In an instant, it was pandemonium as the victims lay bleeding on the pavement. Ranging in age from 24 to 61, there were head injuries and broken bones. A 34-year-old woman would be rushed from the scene in critical condition. But the car veered back onto the street and took off, driving another 10 miles before crashing into two cars on the Long Island Expressway. The driver was not intoxicated and was not seriously injured. Sources say she told detectives that she said a prayer before she ran the red light and closed her eyes before she drove into the crowd. It happened just before midnight last night, where 36th Street crosses 6th Avenue and blood stains the sidewalk. It is not clear whether the driver drove deliberately onto the sidewalk, although it might well appear that way. At the scene, police officers today watched for traffic violations as detectives worked to understand what may have prompted the incident. Of the seven people injured, I'm told all are recovering tonight. The driver remains in police custody. Charges against her have not yet been announced. I'm told that she is a 29-year-old woman from Somerset County, New Jersey. Much more on the crash, on the injuries, and some context for all of this coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock tonight.